So we've got our busy day today with uh, altogether 22 loads of rape coming into store. We've got a lorry there behind me. We've got some more here in the yard. One on the way bridge just weighing in. This other one's waiting to tip. So just showing the crop we have here. We're storing for a merchant for ADM. You can see all seed rape. So the red seeds are when it's uh, not quite right. But you can just see the black. So when this is crushed, you get oil out of it, which has many uses. Um, every loaf of bread actually has some uh, rape oil in it as a preservative. And then the husk is actually then used for, for animal feed. So you can just see the uh, black seeds. Bit of chaff in this, but not a lot. It's really good clean sample, but a bit of red seed there, which a um, bit of an indication it was uh, harvested maybe a touch, touch early. But we've got to be very careful with the weather. Hail storms and rain can actually shell this out. So it's very, very tricky crop to get right. Here we are pushing up to store the crop about five and a half meters deep and each lorry load we have to push each lorry load up and it probably takes 15 minutes to push it all up to the height to the top you can see there we're getting a bit higher each time these pedestals in the bottom of the crop it's a bigger base with holes in it to let the air through we have a motor on the top eventually and when this shed's full, it's not full yet, we get a lot of rape in it yet. The rape will be right to the top of that tube and we put a motor on it that sucks the air through into the crop, into the bottom of the tube, and it's predominantly to cool it. The temperature this has come in here is anywhere between 20 and 30 degrees, depends on the temperature it was harvested. See there, we're getting up a bit higher each time. So the higher the temperature is harvested, the higher it comes into store, but we can't leave it at that temperature or else it, uh, it heats up and, and the bugs uh, breed in it. So over the course of the next few months, when the air temperature cools at night, we'll cool it down to about five or six degrees and that can keep it till it then go out the shed. Um, the merchant will collect it probably uh, in the spring or summer next year. Some farmers bring it in the tractor and trailer if they're not too far away. This load had about 17 tonnes on it. So when we want to fill the corners, we have to tip a load on the edge and then we bucket it across with a bucket. Because it's the only way of getting these corners full. So that's filling up nicely. Then where that red mark is, just to the left of the bucket, we have another pedestal to go in there. So another one of those will go on the floor just out here. So we'll soon need to get that in. So this is why we need to fill the corners now. So when we cool the grain, they're what we have buried in the crop. So underneath that tube there is one right in the bottom of the crop. And so to make these up, these extensions, so that goes on top there like that, all the way down. And then with the joiner, this is obviously upside down, that joiner goes on on the top there and then we build it up through the crop and that's just how those are made, made there. And so we've got Hessian on the outside because the rape will go through the perforations so you might be able to see some holes there, you can just see those little slits there in every one of those ribs like that dotted around the tube and that's what the air can get through but the hessian obviously stops the rape going in otherwise those tubes would fill so we put a motor on the very top up there when the crop's full when this shed is full you won't see any of that pipe apart from two inches out the top 
and then the motors go on the top and to cool it. Now, the rate is coming in at the moment anywhere between 20 and 30 degrees, depending on what temperature the crop was combined at. And some last week came in the high 20s, at the minute it's about 22 degrees. We need to cool it down to in the region of five or six or seven degrees to keep it long term, otherwise the bugs and insects breed in the crop. Now, it's difficult to do that this time of year because the night temperatures aren't cool enough. So we have to wait till the winter time and gradually over the next few months, it'll be down. We have automatic controllers on that will put the fans on and off automatically depending on the outside temperature or the ambient temperature, we call it. And so the fans will come on at night so this time of year, we won't be able to cool it a lot, but then obviously as the autumn comes and the winter comes, they'll be on most of the time, and that's when it really brings the temperature down.